For these ribs today, we gotta put together our own rubs. So I got some salt, pepper, garlic, brown sugar, and some extra spicy ghost pepper roasty buds coffee. We're making a sweet and spicy coffee rub today. Ground coffee, salt, little garlic powder, coarse black pepper, brown sugar. And here we have our ghost pepper coffee and brown sugar rub. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Sweet, salty, it's got a little kick from the coffee. And that coffee flavor is really delicious. Mm. Let's prep these ribs. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pat dry these ribs and get rid of some of this fat that you see here on the top just to expose the meat. All of this fat right here runs pretty deep into the meat, so we're not gonna take too much off of it. But this right here is the silver skin and we want to get rid of that. So this is going to be good enough for me. We got a lot of the meat exposed. We got a lot of the fat and the silver skin off. Now it's time to rub this down and season it. I'm going to be saving all of this fat to render down into beef tallow, which turns into the best cooking oil that you could possibly use, in my opinion. And now for the membrane, I'm just going to score it rather than remove it. You don't need to use a binder for the seasoning. The seasoning will stick fine to the meat, but if you're gonna use one, make sure you use something that's gonna actually impart some flavor. For this, I'm using some shallot oil. Ghost pepper coffee and brown sugar rub. Just press that seasoning in. And since I didn't add a ton of salt to the rub, I'm gonna add a little extra salt to the outside. I said it in 2020 and I'll say it again in 2023. Beef ribs are the best bite in barbecue. Don't you forget it. Ribs are seasoned. Let's go set up the Camp Chef Woodland Pro. Our beef ribs are on the Camp Chef Woodland Pro at 250 degrees. I put three chunks of cherry wood in there to give it some extra smoky flavor. I'm gonna let this go at 250 until they're done. If the meat starts looking dry, I'll give it a spritz. But if it's looking moist, looking good, we're just gonna let it ride. Beef ribs are the best bite in barbecue. The beef ribs internal temperature is about 203 right now and it's probing super tender. So I'm gonna wrap them in foil and let them rest for about 30 to 45 minutes. Our ribs have rested for about 45 minutes. Let's open it up, cut into it. Scooby snacks. Mm. These ribs spent a total of six and a half hours on the grill, 45 minutes of rest. What we're left with is delicious, tender, juicy beef ribs. The best bite in barbecue. Mm. While I was out, I found my favorite bottle of bourbon, Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Let's open this up. Fresh bottle pop. Perfect pairing with beef ribs. A little hot sauce on my beef rib, baby. Life is good. Mmm. That's so damn good. Mmm. This is your sign to make some beef ribs. Cheers. Mmm.